Right, so we have a bit of an issue with the hot tub. We have a puncture somewhere. There was a puncture here. It's already been repaired. This had all gone flat. So I know where the puncture is. I've already searched for it, but I thought I'd put it into a video. So all I've got here is some washing up liquid in uh, and water in a squirty bottle. And the puncture, I squirt this on here. You can see the bubbles are coming straight out. So that's where the puncture is. So to repair it, which is what I used last time, is this stuff. Fix and repair adhesive. Um, minus 30 to 130, waterproof, transparent. Works on smooth and rough materials, including wood, uh, uh, etc. This here, it's not very transparent. But that has been there for about six months and it's still holding. So what I'm gonna do, clean this area up, let it dry off. Then I'll put some of this straight over the hole. This stuff is thick enough that it's not gonna blow air through it. So I'm gonna do one layer, let it dry for an hour or so, put some more over the top of that, let it dry. And then I might do a third coat as well. But as you can see here, that's all solid. So uh, get this cleaned up. Which, Go get some tissue or something just to make sure that that surface is completely dry. Obviously, gonna have to drain the hot tub, I think, because we've got washing up liquid in here now, but uh, it's very diluted. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get some tissue and we'll get that drier. All right, I've just dried that off, just a bit of tissue, just uh, in there. So, the hole it's in this bit of seam somewhere. So I'm just gonna put a bit of this. Nice and thick. Where are we? Just dab that round a little bit. Make sure I get it right into the seams. It's all nice and thick in that. Then we'll just leave that for an hour or so to set and uh, leave that for an hour or so to set and uh, check back in a bit. But this, so there you go, serious glue. You used to be able to buy it in Tesco's and stuff, but I think you can only get it online now. Um, fix and repair adhesive. Uh, repositionable in three minutes, fully set in two hours, maximum strength after 24 hours. Ensure both surfaces are clean and dry. Uh, soft plastics, leather, rubber, marble, stone, fabrics, ceramic, earthware, glass, mirrors, metal, tiles, hard plastics. So yeah, I'll... Uh, Come back to you in a little bit, a couple of hours once that's dried, and we'll test it again, make sure it's not leaking. Right, so we're back outside a couple of hours later. So, where I have repaired, my finger is here. That glue is now dried. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of the bubble mixture, bubbly mixture over the top. Come on, there you come. Oh no, we are still leaking. Still leaking, so a bit further down. Right, so we're gonna have to start, well not start again, we're gonna have to put some more glue over that. Where is it? Yeah, it was up here before, it's coming out further down for some reason. Right in that seam. Maybe I just didn't go around far enough with the glue, so. I can't see. Oh, I see where it is, yeah. Right, we'll pop a bit more glue on there, give it another hour or so, 
and uh, see. Am I going to try this one handed? No, just one moment. So let's just pop a bit more glue around this side. Be a bit thicker this time. Maybe not spread it out quite so much. So right down into there. Right, so that's another layer of glue. <coughs> back again in an hour or so, and we'll check it again. Right, back again. Hopefully it's the last time. So, there's the repair. Let's get the spray out again. Spray it on there. Move my finger out the way of the camera lens. No bubbles this time. So that, let's just dry that off. That is officially repaired. But just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna pop a little bit more glue just down in there. Now, yeah, the hot tub did come with a repair patch, or those repair patches, things that you get, which, yeah, if there was a split up here, I'd put a repair patch on it. It's a nice flat surface, but like in a seam in there, or as this is here with this seam, you can't really use a repair patch because they won't stick properly into a, uh, into the seams so i find that this glue is a better option because it gets right into the splits so obviously that's not going to stay transparent over time it is going to go darker but that is still solid that is a successful repair and it's not leaking so uh yeah i do i've used this on all sorts of things i've even used it to repair coolant pipes on cars sort of as a temporary fix but obviously on this hot tub it is uh more of a permanent fix don't know how it'll be when uh it gets folded up and put away in the winter time hopefully it'll hold but if it doesn't i know where the holes are i can just put some more glue on so yeah if you've got a little hole a bit of serious glue does the trick <laughs> 